So it's springtime in North Texas. Everything's turning green. We got good rain coming in. The flowers are blooming, love is in the air, and the turkeys are gobbling. So we get out just before sunrise. I do some crow calling, and immediately off the bat, we got a tom gobbling off the roost. So Tyler, our cameraman, and I go and get in position. We're gonna set up about 300 yards down the tree line from where he's at in the roost. Today we're hunting out of our muddy pop-up blinds because it's easy to get in and out of the field as well as it's able to hide everything. We got two grown men, two tripods, two cameras, as well as my calls and guns and everything else. So we have to have full concealment in order to hide from these turkeys when they're coming into the decoys. Tyler's trying to get all the cameras set up inside of our muddy pop-up blind. I'm doing the calling and the work and this bird is coming in hot. I look over at Tyler and I said, hey, are you ready? And he goes, give me two minutes. Buddy, you don't have two minutes. That Tom was already on our decoys. We've got the camera all set up, we've got it rolling, and at this point, the Tom is standing nose to nose, beak to beak, with our Jake decoy. And it is almost impossible to tell the difference between the actual decoy and our Tom. The Tom comes in and he is putting on a show for us. He is spitting, he is drumming, trying to win over the hearts and affection of our other decoy, but little does he know, we have quite a surprise for him. in a hurry this morning. Jeez, we haven't been in the barn for 10 minutes. Oh, man. <sighs> so that was awesome. <laughs> I think I can still make it home in time to take the kids to school. <laughs> These kind of hunts will spoil you. Turkey hunting isn't easy. It's not supposed to happen out this way. It almost took us as long to set up our muddy pop-up blind than the hunt even lasted. Everything played out perfectly on this hunt and I was able to tag a great Rio Grande Tom. That's correct. Hey, Greg, it's Guy from Holland and Holland. How are you? Hey, Guy, how are you? How are y'all tracking? Doing pretty good. I'll just give you a call and let you know I'm about five minutes out. So today we're expecting a couple of folks from Holland and Holland. They're coming in from England for a pig hunt. Now I'm gonna guide this hunt myself, make sure everything goes perfectly. Okay, we'll be ready. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Looking forward to meeting you. Yes, sir. You too. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. A relationship with Holland and Holland could be big for our business.
Wow. You can get a little small. Holland and Holland. Classy, upscale gun company. Craig Meyer, auctioneer, farm boy, professional pig hunter. I hope I meet their expectations. Hello, sir. How are you? Good to meet you, How sir. You? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. I'm Craig. I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know what to expect. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Good. Looking forward to an evening hunting. Man, I just don't want to feel like a donkey going to a horse show. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Please, please. This is our, uh, this is our humble lodge. A little bit of personal information about me. I have always had a habit of imitating people's accents. It's stupid, I know, but I can't help it. So, uh, welcome to Texas. Thank you, no pleasure being here. So Craig, are you really our guide? <laughs> I am your PPH, professional pig hunter. Got it. So, uh, yeah, let me give you all the nickel tour right quick. This way. So we have the bar area here. And uh, uh, you take a left right down here. There's the loo. Is that right? The loo? Right, the loo, yeah. loo, yes. I'm learning. Uh, over here, this was killed by Sir Ted Nugent. Or is he a duke? Maybe a lord. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now, Guy and Robert are actually very laid back. Great guys. I finally relaxed and was able to be myself. What guns did you bring? I bought three Holland Holland rifles, two double rifles, and a bolt action rifle. For wow. A rifle. What caliber? Uh, the bolt action is a 3006, and then a 375 double rifle, and a 500. 500? 500. 500. What? Oh, who's shooting that? Uh, you, I hope. No. <laughs> three guns worth over $300,000, and one of them is a 500 Nitro Express. Now I'm nervous again. What's it feel like? Well, I'll be waiting to see you. I'll be looking at you. <laughs> you want to watch? Is he playing a trick on me? Well, I think we'll wait to see. Two years to make a rifle? 18, to, to, to 18 months to two years to make one of these, yeah. Wow. It's gonna go. Going hot. So I actually shot the 375 H and H double rifle on the range. It put one hell of a dent on our AR 500 steel. Actually, even chipped the paint on the back of the plate. It's a hell of a lot of damage and a hell of a lot of power. I can't wait to see what this round is going to do to a hog. This segment of Target Rich Environment brought to you by Muddy Blinds. Go muddy. This segment of Target Rich Environment brought to you by Pulsar, Advanced Thermal and Night Vision Optics. So I actually had something special planned for these guys. And when we had dinner, I went all out. I brought in my good friend and amazing professional chef, Lucy, to come in and do it upright five star for these guys from Holland and Holland. Thank you. Congrats, I've got another course coming, so y'all enjoy and I'll be right back. All right, thank you. Now you want to talk about probably one of the finest meals that's ever been served 
on a hog hunt. We had Wagyu sushi, couscous, Wagyu steak, honey sauteed Brussels sprouts, and fine wine. Mmm. You talk about make a men a slap a whale. Well, well, enjoy. Thank you. You're more than welcome. There you go. Now this time of year, we have a lot of land getting damaged. We actually have a place here pretty close to the lodge. I've been baiting it all week. We should get on them real quick. So when I get out of the truck and kind of go over the game plan with the guys, we are going to be doing spotting and stalking. So we're going to find out how quiet these guys can be. Sometimes moving two clients and a cameraman and trying to sneak up on a pig without spooking him can be quite a challenge. So it wasn't long and we found a little group of hogs. We had to get sneaky, we had to get in the woods, and actually had to crawl in the last little bit. I just want to say great job to everybody for keeping it quiet. Everything went well and Guy made one hell of a shot at 100 yards from his knees. Well, I tell you, you got a $100,000 rifle and a $28 pig. <laughs> Man, I tell you what. This big white, probably 200 pounds, 150. Oh, uh, yeah, probably 150. <laughs> of course, I've never been real good at guessing weight. You ought to see me at the bar. So one shot, one pig down. We're having a great time. We need to get these pictures done because I know where some more pigs are, and we need to get after them. Let's go, let's go after it. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. Let's get to it. So we get back on the road and it wasn't long. We came up on a single. We stalked in, Robert shot with a 30 aught six and we got another pig down. I actually was pleasantly surprised with these guys from England. They're pretty sneaky. So soon thereafter, we come up on a nice little sounder of pigs. Pretty good group. A lot of pigs out in the field doing their dead level best to ruin one of my landowner's pastures. Now Guy double taps one of these pigs with a 375 H and H. Whammo. Now it's important for these guys to have a great time, but the most important thing for me is we saved a lot of ground today. We came out, uh, Guy shot, shot a pig, and Robert shot too. And uh, anyway, we had a heck of a time. Thank good, thank goodness we did not find another one because uh, I was supposed to be shooting the 500 <laughs> and uh, <laughs> didn't get the opportunity. Thank God. So, uh, but I'll tell you, Guy says he wants to come back uh, maybe this summer or a little later in the year. And we'll do it again. We'll do it again. See if we can shoot one in the face with the 500. So uh, stay tuned for that. Guy and Robert, I hope you had a good time. I really wish you would have left one of your rifles behind. Uh, but uh, hope to see y'all soon. Can't wait to have you back. Cheerio. Animals were harmed in the making of this segment of Target Rich Environment, thanks to Red Army Standard. This segment of Target Rich Environment brought to you by Walker's Ear Protection. Here like you've never heard before. So we did a helicopter hog hunt giveaway on social media, oh, and today's the day. Great. These guys are here, and we're ready to hunt. 
Hey, Gunner, how's it going? Good, nice. This hey, is bro. Brett. So Ray shows up and he brought his son to hunt with him. He's a very experienced hunter. He's been taking his son hunting his whole life as well. I know once we find some pigs, these guys are just gonna wear them out. So, did you go buy some lottery ticket? Uh, yeah, <laughs> my, my brother told me, he goes, man, you ought to, for giggles, you ought to just go buy a lottery ticket. You've been lucky lately. <laughs> I definitely got lucky. My name's Ray Petty and uh, I want a heli hunt with the heli hunters and we're about to go up in an angry bird and try to kill some pigs. Yeah, I've, I've, I've hunted all my life. It's, it's, not a, it's not a sport to me, it's a kind of a way of life. I mean, my freezer's full of meat, uh, wild game meat. I, I don't go to the store, buy meat. It's, it's, I love hunting and I'm, this is the day for me. I'm a, I hear the angry bird just showed up, we're ready to go. So Johnny is our head pilot here at Heli Hunter. He's been here since day one. He's an ex-military pilot, has more experience than anybody out there. Not only does he know the county like the back of his hand, but he knows how to get you on those pigs. So of course, when Johnny gets the guys in the bird, he has a few more things he wants to go over just to make sure that he's on the same page that they are. Priority number one is getting these guys back down safely, but priority number two is to get these pigs laid down. We really like to go through every aspect of the hunt with these guys before they get up in the bird. There's a lot going on, but as long as they follow a few simple steps, everybody's gonna go home safe, and I know they're gonna have an awesome time knocking down some pigs. So we get the guys harnessed up, we get them in the bird, and then they're looking like they've done this before. I think it's gonna be an awesome hunt. Well, we'll see how they do. If they don't get enough done, we'll have to get out there and uh, take matters in their own hands. <laughs> That's like the best like diehard one-liner ever. So we have some areas where we know we have some pigs. I mean, we know we have some pigs. It looks like bombs have been going off in these fields. So we're gonna get out there and we just gotta find where they're laid up during the day so Johnny can push them out and we can get some good shots and really lay these pigs down. When reliability matters, Make the wise choice. If you can hear this episode of Target Rich Environment, thank Dead Air Silencers. No quarter. This was all freshly tore up a few weeks ago. And he's got to come in and resaw it, replow it, and try to get something to grow back there. Uh, it's going to take a year before something starts taking back over. If you look up in front, there's some fresh stuff up there as well. And th those are the patches you see in this field that are just going to cost money. You can't get 100% anymore. So.
They knocked down a lot of pigs today, but we still have a lot more to go. I'm sure it beats the heck out of a day at work for them, but our work's just begun.